Antony Gebrekerstow's Hailey, the captain of the Tigrayan football team Mikel 70 Enderda, fondly recalls the jubilant day in July 2019 when his team clinched their first Ethiopian Premier League title. The stadium in Mekela was brimming with energy and excitement, filled with passionate fans, the 31-year-old shared, calling it, the happiest day of my life. However, the joy was short-lived as a brutal two-year conflict between Ethiopia's government and Tigrayan rebel forces left the stadium and the region in ruins until a peace deal was signed in November 2022. The war impacted all Tigrayans, including athletes like Antone. The war was devastating, not only for me or the Tigray region but for all of Ethiopia, he told AFP. There was a mindset that going to war was better than dying at home. We turned against each other. Now, Mikel 70 Enderda, alongside Shire and Dasalasi and Wellwalo Adagrat University, has been readmitted to the Ethiopian Premier League, marking a return to normalcy. Kibrama Speha, a 26-year-old striker for Mikel 70 Enderda, recounted how he and his younger brother joined the conflict to find their parents. Tragically, his brother died in battle, but the peace deal allowed Kibram to reunite with his parents. Even amidst the chaos, Kibram's passion for football endured. I watched Ethiopian Premier League games on Facebook Live, hoping I could play again after the war, he said. However, returning home has its challenges. The team faces financial difficulties, with players not receiving any salary, and the trauma of war lingers. The battlefield's intensity masks emotions, but memories haunt you once you return home, he explained. The Tigray War was marked by severe atrocities, including sexual violence and starvation tactics used by Ethiopia's government against Tigray. Head coach Goitam Haile, 39, spoke about the struggle to reunite the players and help them transition back to normal life. It took us a long time to bring everyone together and focus on football, he said. The war took many things from us. It will take time to catch up, but we will get there. He called on the government and wealthy Ethiopians to support the team's recovery. Goitam believes in the unifying power of football, drawing parallels to Ivorian legend Didier Drugba's role in brokering peace in his war-torn country. He hopes football can help Ethiopians overcome hate and learn to appreciate one another. The team's efforts have already paid off, earning them a spot in the Ethiopian Premier League and raising fans' hopes for a return to their glory days. Zelalem Adekilidi, a longtime fan, shares this optimism. If we support each other and perform well next season, everything will improve, the 30-year-old said. Even though it won't be the same as before, I am optimistic that it will change. Football can help us rebuild politically, economically, and financially. For Antone, the return to the football pitch has brought a sense of healing and hope. Mikel 70 Enderda has maintained an undefeated streak this season, with 11 victories and 4 draws in their 15 games. We are striving to rebuild our pre-war way of life and recapture the spirit of those times, he said. We have returned to what we love most, playing football. In conclusion, the resilience of the Tigrayan footballers exemplifies the broader struggle for unity and healing in Ethiopia. Through their passion for football, they are not only striving for victory on the field but also contributing to the nation's journey towards reconciliation and recovery.